Welcome to Suzanne's Studio, and I'm Suzanne Barnett, your host. I can hardly talk because I am so excited, because for the fourth time, I am going to introduce my guest, Lawrence Chu, otherwise known as Chef Chu, and Lawrence is my guest again for the fourth time, and and uh, Larry is probably, he doesn't want me to say it, but I am going to say it. He is one of the most famous Chinese chefs in the world, really. Anyway, <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. I'm so excited. Well, thank you very much for the comments. <laughs> it's true. Appreciate it, it's true. Anyway, what are you going to do for us today? Well, we're going to do one of the most popular and appetizer or snack and in the Chinese restaurant, pot sticker. And I'm gonna do it, not only show you how to make a pot sticker, I also show you how to do a little bit, tiny little dumpling, it can steam them as well. So, uh, shall we start it? Yes, please All do. Right. Now, we have Napa cabbage, which is a filling. The Napa cabbage, actually the small one, we're cutting the half, you can see, they're pretty much, you know, you wash, Thoroughly and like this, and they cut it, and uh, and you have a little green onion, and some gingers, and and then you have some ground pork. You don't want to buy the pork from the supermarket, which is a uh, sausage pork. That's too much fat. And uh, you want a little more. You buy a nice lean pork butts, and I have to butcher to grind it for you. Much prefer that way. That way, the meat more lean rather than much fat in there. It's pork in, pork butts. Pork butts. Okay. As much much better uh, uh, lean pork in there, less fat in there, but the marble that makes the meat very tasty. Repeat again, napa cabbage, half of them, a little bit of ginger, uh, one, maybe one stalk of green onion, chopped it, and uh, maybe a pound of it, and a ground pork. All depend who's coming for dinner. <laughs> if a Chinese people come here, they like a little more cabbage, and napa cabbage. You know, for kids coming, Eh, a little cabbage is fine. For the normal people, you make sure you have a meat, especially in a restaurant, you make sure where is the, my meat. But well, after we mix together, it becomes like this. A little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of sugar, salt and pepper, that become the filling like this. And then you need a dough like this, which you have all-purpose flour with a little bit of water, four to one. The recipe, actually, you can call Chef Chu, or you can buy a book. Oh, that, and, yeah, let's... Talk about your book for just a moment. The you book is the... it's a wonderful book that tells almost everything there, not just telling you what's the ingredient, tell the method of cooking and also the technique. And I've been teaching for 44 years. Yes. I don't want to be lying. Yes. Not quite 45 yet. A few few months I'll be 45. I love eating. I love but talk. But how come you have I love such teaching. a good physique? You don't eat that much. Well, or you know, you, 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 you so have to hard. eat properly. Yeah, you, yeah. Eating Chinese food is a lot yes. of vegetables. Yes. You don't eat everything. What Chinese people are eating is slightly different than the American people. Where American people eat the whole thing, especially French chefs, they will use the bread to suck in all the, ju the mm -hmm. sauce. Where Chinese people eat, when they put dishes on the table, multiple items, you don't finish everything. You never put the rice in the dishes. You put a dish in the rice. So all the greasy is actually on the plate. When they still cal calculate how much calorie in there, how much fat in there, they calculate the whole thing. But Chinese people just eat that way. If we eat Chinese food properly, it looks like a meat. For my age, not too bad, isn't it? And happy birthday. Well, thank you very yeah. much. 71. Oh. Can't believe it. I feel so good. And 45 years. 45 years. Chef too. That's we another thing. You enjoy what later. you're doing. You're passionate. You know, you put your heart into it. You know, and I knew, and we came to America. This is the country where I can dream. Working very hard with a little bit of luck, your dream can come true. This is one of them, my dream. I'm speaking for myself. I'm very fortunate. And I have my lovely wife, five children, boy, girl, boy, girl, boy. Can you believe it? You know, and now, you know, the kids start helping me. Larry's helping me, Jennifer's helping me. And it, and it making much more, and, uh, more energy. Yes, yes, your restaurant, you do good burn out time to time. But you know, just you're, you're about to burn out, your kids join you. Mm -hmm. You know, this mm -hmm. is the sort of thing I'm very fortunate. Yes. When you had a problem, your wife supports you. 
working in a restaurant is tough business. If it's seven years, restaurant usually changing hand. Chef Chu has been almost six times, or oh, more than six times, of seven years. What makes the Chef Chu different? That's no different. It's just you love what you do. One of my things I enjoyed is that I'm just, just cooking the food. I enjoy creating the food. I enjoyed the bottle of the food from other restaurant. I watch the newspaper, television, read a book about it, what is the trend. So making me a break exciting, I travel to China, I take a bunch of people to China, I offer cooking class. In the cooking class, not only you teach people how to cooking, also the client will tell you, the student will tell you why they like the dishes, or you can try the dishes on them. They will tell you whether they like it or not. So it's, it's a both benefit, and it make life more interesting. Is it just cooking for make a living? There's a more, you know, making living. At the beginning, yes, a lot of Chinese chefs, special professional chefs from China, they come in here, they open a restaurant, they don't do chow mein, they don't do this, this is not Chinese food, they don't do ekofu yang. You want to ekofu yang, go to Chef Chu. You want to fry rice, go to Chef Chu. Oh. Meantime, we are busy, they have no business. Because here, you cook for your client. It's not good for me. Yes. You cook for your client. When your client wants this, you give to them. Slowly but surely, introduce the new dish to them. Let them like the dishes. And then, then your restaurant becomes their a trusty Chinese restaurant. Because consistency of food, the personal touch, and the right attitude from the waiter, they come in almost like a family restaurant. That's another thing I think Chef Chu, even I've been there for 45 years. We have a good location, we have a tablecloth service, and nice china wear, but we never treat our restaurant as a high-end restaurant. We treat Chef Chu always family restaurant. Kids friendly. That's absolutely true. You come Saturday and Sunday, we have the whole family here, the grandkids, the grandfather, mm -hmm. everybody comes Chef Chu because they feel very comfortable. No, we're still serving water, but we do tell them the water in California was scared. I do my part, had a water bottle that looks like a tiny, but it's California tap water. It's a free, but do not waste the water. Drink as much as you can, yeah. but we'll provide the water. I think that's a good, good sign to do that. But I have to ask you a question. Please. After all these years, and you're such a wonderful guest to have, first of all, you know, you're a good talker, and you're so talented, you're good looking, but what I can't get over, after 45 years, you're so enthusiastic and you're still so crazy about cooking, demonstrating, and you do so much. I want the audience to know how much you do for the community, for uh, uh, Foothill College, the high school, El Camino Hospital, you're so generous, Larry. I really want the audience to know that. And I think that's part of your success. They, they, and they do say, all the things that you give, you get back. You don't do it for that reason. But your enthusiasm and your talent, how do you keep that going? I, I think over the years, we haven't done all this for the one day. This is over the spread of 45 years. Yes. And then we did a school. Now I'm very proud of it. We did about two or three thousand and uh, hot lunch for the elementary school and, uh, and middle school all over the Mountain View. And I'm very proud of it. We did it almost about 10 years. Lately, they, the health department said you cannot do this anymore because there's a lot of other issues involved. So I haven't done that. But that's something I really enjoyed. It. It's not a money making thing, as a matter of fact, very time consuming things. Mm -hmm. You got to not only cook them, you got to put in the box, and after box, you put in the bag, after bag, you put a four fortune cookie and deliver it to them, and then make it hot. And then we take the challenge, we did it. I think that's just a, looking back, for the, all the 45 years, I think that particular project, I enjoy the most. Is that right? Because I, except a couple of years, when beginning, after a couple of years, Chef Chu actually do very well. And um, we make good money. And uh, we're very happy. My kids go to good school. My wife can really take them to a, not just school, after school activity. Mm -hmm. Now we understand it. To, to doing good, not just for yourself, also you should share. I, I think something, and uh, you know, over the years, you're always saying you're blessing. You're lucky. 
But when you're lucky for 45 years, I think it's more than just luck. I agree. It, it's how we're also blessing. Exactly. Somebody's watching us. Yeah. So what I think was, I'm very satisfied with what I'm getting. I really got everything. And, uh, and, and, uh, and, and, and then another thing we try to do, we try to give it back. And to give it back is something, it, it's not force you to do it. You got it from your heart. And I do, every year I do two or 3,000 people for homeless in the San Francisco Clyde Memorial Church. We've been doing the last 10 years. Well, I'm very happy to do that. Yeah. I worked 24 hours that last two days. I'm telling you, I work very hard, but I never feel that way. You know, yeah, yeah. and I came home, I have to slept for two days, but what I'm doing this, and my tears going off. Yeah. You came to America. Yeah. You know, you see the people, you made it, but you see the other people, the, all kind of people, you know, some are psyche, some is really poor, some old, some young, they come in, you go there, you know, it, it smell, you know, it's a terrible smell, but then Climb Memorial Church, they provide the food, we able to be participate. Mm -hmm. I do my share. Mm -hmm. I, I knew I only can do so much, but at least I do that many people, mm -hmm. at least at least one day. Mm -hmm. I think this is what keep me going, keep them in, I think I'm very happy doing that. Mm -hmm. I think the happiness sometimes came from something you do that, which you want to do it, and nobody else should do it, you know. I think instead from a receiver, now I become a giver. I think I'm very proud of it. Let's get some okay, plastic. Okay, come going. on. Now, okay. the plastic is very easy to do it. That's why I wanted to do it. Uh, you chop the cabbage, you chop an onion, ginger, and then follow the recipe in the pork. And then you need the all purpose flour and then a little water and become dough like this. So you have the roller like this, very simple roller like this. You know, as a matter of fact, I've done something ready and can cut it like this into the, I do five, six of this. And then you push down almost like a pancake. It, it, it does with a little flour, like you push it down, you push it down. I want to show you how to do it. So interesting, you know, push this down, and uh, and then you have a, something like a rolling pin. This is like, watch it. You, you push the meat inside, you push this inside. So what again, inside? If it's thick inside, light it on the outside. So that's the reason for it. Let's one more time. Now watch this one, okay. you see? And then you put the meat right there. You see, well, let's do it one, like a wait, don't allow me to a it. Oh, you do that so well. See that? That's one of the kind. You see, let's do a couple more like so people can see it. Let's do a slow okay. motion. Okay, do slow, slow motion. motion. Okay. You put it together, Yeah. you know, it's around, the, and it pinch to the end. You yeah. pleat, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You see that? Oh, it's you can beautiful. sting them, you can pan fry them. It's a, Posticker means that you pan fry them. If you want it, sting them. You put sting them here, I can sting them. I can do one more different shape. And then this one normally is for sting. Watch carefully. Okay. This is very interesting. The Shanghainese style almost. Look at this. Look at this. You put it together, in other words. Yeah. You see, the other one is a, a four and a half. There's no, you put it together. Oh, that's, Look that's at this. so cute. Look at this. You Look have to be a sculptor. No, the, you, yeah, you do. The, to practice, everybody. Yeah. And then what do you do? You put a steamer. Put a steamer, see that? Yeah. You put a steamer. Yeah. The steamer, 12 minutes it, over the boiling water. Okay. This was just a pan fry them. Okay. Okay, let's do a couple more okay. if I have a time. Yes. You know, it's very simple. Let's just put this, to, let me to work easier. Okay. So what we do, we make a pan, little, you push down almost like a, the, you know, little, a pancake is rolling. You know, you, you know, but you, you don't make the dough look yourself. At that. Look at this. Yeah. Let me do a couple more. Okay. Would you like to try one? Sure. Let me do it. Let me show you. Oh, I wish we could have practiced. Okay, just practice. <laughs> okay, let me put this for you okay. to eat. Okay. The best way, the first time you do it, don't put too much in there. You okay. fold it in half. And you fold it and put your hand first. Okay. Since we'll never practice before. Let me okay. wait for me. Wait for me. Okay. Let me do one here. Okay. Now you fold it in half as we always do. you pinch to the end. Pinch to the end. You plead. Like you do, you pleat, pleat it right there. You pleat, like overlap this one. Oh, I o see. Overlap a little oh. bit. Overlap a little oh, bit. Yeah. About eight times, you make sure there's nothing in between. Let me see. You're beautiful. Look at this. Oh, that's so awful. No, 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 no. People okay. eat. 
people only eat the bottom. Oh, okay. So it doesn't matter here. But yeah. this way, the idea is to seal off. That's the to one more time. Seal it. Okay. That's the one more time. Okay. That's for you. Oh, yeah. This is what eventually you can let your kids do it. You get a bunch of your kids together. People love to do it. And they can ask them how many would you like to have. I can do a couple more okay. different shape. Okay. This I'm is pinching, I'm pinching the side. Okay. Hold on one second. Okay. Hold on a half. Okay. This one is important. Okay. This one where you pinch, you you put in, you pleat. You see, and you didn't pleat. Pleat from here. Oh, I, oh, I pleat from here. Okay. You put your thumb right here. You put your thumb right here, so that allows your room to pleat. You pleat it, and toward the end you don't have to do anything. You just pinch down. Okay. The idea is oh, to that's seal, <laughs> seal them. Yeah, you do fine. No, I and don't. And then okay. uh, while waiting, okay. and then we are. <laughs> You know, we want to see the whole thing. And then I put a little oil in here. First of all, a preheated wok. Okay, why would preheated hot? Let's do a couple more. And a couple more, and then we show you. That's fun. Oh, you yeah. know, it really, it's, it's like. fun, you have to make it fun. Yeah. That's the difference between me and other. It's not work. If it's you treat your job, it's yeah. a job. And then you lost the fun. Yeah. You treat it job. Since you have to do it okay. every day, just like you do at home. Let me take this one. Let me get you a little okay. less meat. Okay. That's another thing. Get put too much in there. If you, since you have to cook every day, why don't you make the cook as part of life? Absolutely. It's a fun. If you say, oh, we're going to cook another dinner, and then there's no fun. One more time, watch me. Okay. Now I can teach you another method. Okay. Put your pinch right here. Can you do pinch the top? Okay. Watch it. You close right here, you close right here. You, you, mm, you have to do, mm. you see, the two ends ready. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you can, mm, the whole thing comes out, you know. <laughs> you see, this is what yeah. we call a so water yeah. dumpling. Water dumpling, you see it? Oh, that's yeah, gorgeous. Water dumpling. So now, okay. I, I admit it, okay, I gave you it. too much. Okay. Um, I would do it. Okay. Okay, let, let me cut the more, and we'll do more as we, three, four, five. Okay, watch it, you okay. push down. Very easy to do it. Yeah. I could do a couple of different shapes for you. Yeah. And then, so the audience able to see how actually what happened. We'll, we'll pinch it down and we'll roll into a, like a pancake. Yeah. That make it a little bigger, easy for you to do it. Yeah. And then we'll do it like this. One guy do this, and you know, one guy do this. Very quick, you see that? And it's no big deal, because we don't need a machine. Otherwise. Do they have machines? No, not for this one. They have a something machine called Gyoza. That's not this one. This is a totally different ball game. But I'm let so me, impressed me, that you make your own dough. Oh, yeah, because it's so easy. Now, watch carefully now. Okay. This is what we do. Okay. So I can do a couple of fancy ones, but let me, before do fancy ones, let's do, watch carefully now. Okay. Let me follow you. The first thing, you fold together, you pinch the top. Pinch the top. That's it. Watch it now. You fold it back here, you pinch right here. Fold it back. Yeah, watch here, okay. just like what we're doing. Okay, before you pinch, you can, can you see this? Yeah. You can see the little hole right there. You pinch right here. Two together. Mm. You don't have to do mm. But what I'm mm. trying to say, the mm is giving you a little bit of, mm. you know, get a little pressure in there. Now you're almost oh, there. That's, that you're good. almost, that's why you had a problem. You have no mm. Okay. No, you see? You, mm. I don't have to pleat it if, you, you I, know, if this, I push? This one you don't need to pleat it. That's one more. Let okay. me show you through this one. Okay. Maybe easy for you. You hold this okay. one. Okay. Let me show okay. you through this one. This one might easier. Watch carefully now. You, what you do, you don't do anything. You just do like this. You pull it up, put oh. it up, put it up. You make a circle so everything falls down. Oh. No, 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 don't do it yet. Okay. Wait for me. You see that? So, yeah, so you pull and the, the turns. Oh, that's so cute. You see that simple? That's After, so you see, cute. You look at it one more time. Okay. Watch carefully. Okay. You put it in the middle. You put it in the middle. Yeah. You put it like up a little bit. Yeah. You see? You pinch all the oh, end. I see. Ah, oh, I you push see. them in. You push it in. No, you yeah. finished for me. Okay. Just oh, I can't it. wait to make these. Yeah, you believe it's not that? all that difficult, you know. And then you put the the leaves on 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 the the, the line on the steamer. It's a try to pit. Yes. Please. Let me let me let me give you some magic finger. You know, so. you pinch like this. This good thing about this, you can always you see that. Oh, you're so <laughs> look great. at this. You know, oh, you see that's that? That's adorable. Makes you look at that, all the you difference. Like it. You made yourself, so make it, you put your name there. Okay. So you can eat that one. So because the, yeah. the reason why I line the napa cabbage in here mm -hmm. is that the little tiny oh. dumpling will not stick in the bottom of this. Oh, that's so but clever. Oil is hot. That's put so the oil clever. around here. Watch careful now. Okay. A bit of oil here. Make sure the oil stick around, you see? And then you put the plastic in there. 
Yes. Oh, yeah. This is electric walk. Seems like we don't have a stove right here. Yeah. Electric walk right here. That's yours, that's mine. Okay. <laughs> Look at mine. That's fine. Beautiful. That's fine. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay. Toward the end of the sand. Yeah. And then you, you won't understand. But since we're finished, you know. But because it's... really we eat it, the seed is a bottom. Yeah. That's it. Oh, yes. I'm telling you, this is so easy. You know, you don't have to, this, you don't need a rocket science to make <laughs> this one. Trust me. Even, but... you know, look at you know, oh, they don't need it. Yeah. Okay, here. You see? You, you make sure it's hot. Okay. Okay? Make sure the, the electricity is hot. And then you put the water in there. Oh, wow. Okay, oh, you cover it. Oh, I can't wait to do that at Oh, home. yeah, look at this. Ah, yeah. It, and it cover And you listen to it. And when, when eventually the water will evaporate it. And you open the lid, put a little more oil. So make sure that... Uh, the pasta not gonna stick in the bottom of the, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. wok. This is particular wok is an electric wok. Mm -hmm. For this particular item, it's very good. Not for all dishes, but this particular item, making a suicide something, electric wok is ideal. And especially deep fried them. You don't have to worry about it when temperature reach 400 degrees, it burns you warm. This temperature only the maximum, but it's, you know, yeah. 365. Yeah. It's so perfect for deep fried. You can see this thing come out perfect. Yeah. So you don't have to worry anything. Let's talk about more. We can do more. Okay. okay. And I'll be do a couple of different shapes, and we'll cut it smaller. We'll yeah. do a smaller thing. How many of those a day do you serve at the restaurant? You won't believe you say? this. We'll have a lady, one lady, do nothing but this. Yeah. And I try to tell them, don't eat too much plastic. Eat something else. But yeah. something you cannot tell people. People yeah. love it. What are you going to do? Yeah. They love the our plastic. And also, you can do many, you can do vegetarian. We sell a lot of vegetarian now. Yeah. A lot of vegetarian plastic. Take a look at that. Yeah. With a sting. I love the heat. In the meantime, you had so much fun, Larry. Wait until you finish. We're finished. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pot sticker. Yeah. What does that mean? Pot. Pot. Hot. Sticker. Oh, because. The you... thing that's sticking in the pot. They were trying to get people to. They did the name. It's weird. But that works. Everybody, pot sticker. It's been used for century. Everybody's using pot sticker. If you say something else, they don't even understand. Dumpling, sting dumpling. Yes. And it, now, it is the same as it, it is a dumpling, isn't it? No. Dumpling um, usually talk about it. water dumpling or and a sting dumpling. Yeah. But if a pot sticker, you yeah. try not to tell them it's a dumpling. Yeah. And you talk about it. It's a steam and a, what called Shaolong Bao's little basket and and, and the and the poor bun. Shaolong Bao. Very well known in Shanghai. And you go to a Chinese restaurant, you order this. They come out like this. And there's a one restaurant do so well in China. They made a fortune. They enticing. Even Tang Kus went to China. And uh, they go to visit the restaurant. Try one more time. Okay. If this is a Shaolong Bao, Shanghai Shaolong Bao. Of course, we're not trying to compete with them. They, they made a fortune. We do other things. They're just one of the things. We no, also know how to do it. But we don't need to make a fortune. But we're my, my audience to enjoy it. Little tiny. This is uh. a them. After this, okay, I wish. This for you, we're steamed for you. Yeah. And also, we serve a little hot oil and a little bit of vinegar and soy sauce as, as well. Yeah. So that's a part of the sauce. Let me do a couple okay. this way. Okay. Do I have time? Just a do. couple more. Because I still want to ask you a couple of questions. Sure, please. Um, what are... Oh, I can't wait to go do that at home. <laughs> and if you believe that. Anyway. Okay. You go ahead. Okay. So because of your success and because you're such a, you are an extraordinary man. I mean, you do everything. What are, what are the two things that are the most important in your life in regard to the success of 45 years, the success of your life as a person? First thing I think very yeah. important, don't let the success get to your head. Okay. A lot of people always oh, success. Well, now I'm going to gambling. I'm going to play golf. Yeah. And you know, I'm doing this. I'm going to starting. You know, change. Go open another restaurant. Maybe you do many different things. I know my limitation. You know, and uh, I try to tell myself I came the long way, and has five kids. So maybe the five kids was helping me. Mm -hmm. So slow down a little bit. When I try to go out, my wife is always she's so nice. Without her, there won't be a chef to restaurant. When I need her, she's there. When I start and gets a little bit of cocky, I'm do well, I try to go out, do something, she put me down. She look, you got five kids, the kids are so young. 
He traveled, when I wrote the first book back in 1983, television, I would travel all over the United States. They wanted me to do a TV show. But you know, my, my core of business is a restaurant. What I'm good at is running a Chinese middle class restaurant, which I'm good at. Lucky I pull back, I didn't do anything. I come back, I did a lot actually at the time. But I come back, restaurant is what might belong. Mm -hmm. My wife I did a good job. Whenever I had a problem, she said, go by the basic. Mm -hmm. So I think, and the, the basic and uh, knowledge about my wife helping me to guiding me and plus, and um, I'm focused on restaurant. I love, I love to do what I do. We realize the one restaurant, you can do a lot, of, you can more focus in because that personal touch is a personal touch. Attention detail, it's a personal, you better be there. Are you ready? Oh. oh now we'll open it. I open this for you so you now can see it. This timing is perfect because we only have them. I don't about want it. You burn this right here. Oh. So this is nice. Look at the whole beautiful. Oh, that's fabulous. You know, and then, oh. so don't pack, not ready yet. This time you put the oil around. Okay. Oh, it's practically perfect timing because we Look have one minute. One minute. One minute perfect. Okay. <laughs> I'm on. <laughs> in a yeah. minute, yeah. Yeah. the water will evaporate it. Yeah. What's left is the oil. Yeah. The oil will burn the bottom of the plastic. Yes. This is where the trouble begins. Yes. Most missile people is try to take them out and worry about it. Yeah. You know, it's sticking about it. Don't worry. Yeah. They will separate it. Yeah. But it can't wait until the water evaporated. The water evaporated is very important. What's left, you can see the, the noise. They're fighting each other right now. Yes. The, now, oil is more than water, the water starting fighting back, yeah. you can hear the noise. So you're cooking, timing is not how long you cook, how long, uh, how high to hit it. Timing is actually your eye, nose, ear, to know when was the next step, or how to proceed. Just looking for the, the recipe doesn't get anywhere. Recipe just bring right there. Now, oh, almost there. You ladies and gentlemen, you're almost ready. Oh, look, it's a whole bit over that is. Larry, you see? thank you, thank you, thank you. You're better than ever. Promise next year. Yes. And for an, at least another 45 years. Thank and you very I love much. your restaurant better than any in the whole Suzanne, world. I enjoy the show. I love so, you so much. Oh. You're always supporting me. You support the community. Oh, well, You're a wonderful person. Thank you. I and, I, and also, talking about wonderful people, our crew, my crew, is fabulous. And Larry brings us appetizers, and I think that's really one of the reasons that uh, we especially love to have Larry on the show. So I want to thank our audience for watching. I can't wait to see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you. Mwah, mwah. Let's see. Perfect.